Hi everyone, welcome to another Udeo official tutorial on how to create your own character chat bot on Udeo Tavern. In this video, we will show you 5 advanced tips and tricks on creating a better bot. If you are new to Udeo and creating a chatbot, please watch the first tutorial video that will help you to understand all the basics better. Alrighty folks, it's time to roll up our sleeves and jump into the awesome tips and tricks. Let's get this show on the road. Tip number one, use these symbols to help us keep things organized and eliminate repeats and redundancies. Here is a cheat sheet for how to use them when entering your character information. In simple terms, begin and end with square bracket like this. For each section where you'll include character details, you can use curly brackets and parentheses to group the details for what you want to describe like this. Every time when you use brackets or parentheses to start a section, don't forget to close them with same one that you used. Plus sign is a very helpful symbol or used to help us to separate various specific details like this. Here is an example and you can see how we used all the symbols in this section. Another reason that we use these symbols it's because they help us to save on tokens. Token is like the words AI uses to understand the meaning of your input. One token is around three to four characters to count them. You can use this website here for free. Here is a simple comparison where the top one uses 16 tokens and the bottom one with symbols only uses 13 and they means the same thing to AI. Using fewer tokens will help make your character information more concise and AI can process your character information more effectively most of the time. Tip number two. When you are developing the character, these are the elements that will help you develop better characters with rich background details. Tip number three. Use the format that works best for you. When creating the character personas, there are many different types of formatting you can use. I will show you three common ones with examples to show you the pros and cons of each formatting. The first one is plain text format. The pros are that everything is pretty easy to write. You can even just copy paste the details of existing characters from sites like Wikipedia or anime characters site like fandom.com. However, this format uses a lot of tokens and it is less organized for reading and making edit later on. Second, boost style format. The pro is that it saves a lot of tokens. The cons are that it is slightly harder to read and sometimes it will confuse AI. To enhance the character, it's important to provide character traits in a more descriptive way, as this will help the AI better understand and interpret the text. For example, when you write Ihoshino Q plus Idol plus 20, AI will get confused about what 20 means. It can be a code instead of age. To avoid confusion, you should write 20 years old to clarify that it's her age. The last one is the bracketed list format. The pros are that it saves on a lot of tokens. And it is better organized. AI also seems to understand this fairly easily. The cons is that it uses more tokens than boost style. Especially if you have a lot of categories. Another tip if you want to add some spice to your bot, you should create different scenarios the way you want the bot to react to certain words or actions from users. One thing special about Yodeo Tavern is that there's no filter and you can create not safe for work bots as you wish. For example, in the scenario box, you can add that when if the user makes a mistake, Olivia will give a spank to the user. Tip number five. Make sure your character details are within the recommended context length. Here is a cheat sheet you can save when developing your tavern characters. Last but not least, there's a common mistake many people make when using char and user. Sometimes people use the capitalized T and U for them, which is wrong since it is case sensitive in order to create a better bot. Please make sure to use lower case. And that sums up all the tips and tricks I prepared for you today for creating a better bot on your Deo Tavern. We also made an advanced cheat sheet document on the Notion. You can find and click the link in the description to check it out. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or join your Deo Discord and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Enjoy your Deo Tavern. Cheers. Congratulations! Congratulations!